So, I've just purchased this 2002 Toyota Camry, a staple of Toyota reliability. This is where I am right now. I'm on the side of Alberta 2 going south uh, on an off-ramp. Very, very dangerous, actually. And uh, what, <laughs> what seems to have happened is... Uh, yeah, this, uh, this guy decided to creep all the way up to the red, and now... She's trying to start, but she won't start. So, I'm on the side of the highway. I've got a bad motor, blown motor. There's no other way. And check this out, 408,000 kilometers. I picked it up for 1,500 bucks. So, hey man, not so bad, not so bad. I, am, I guess I'm gonna put a motor in it. God, that is very, very annoying. Oh boy. Anyway, yeah. Um, I'm gonna see if this thing will go. It's not gonna. It's not gonna go. And even if it does, what am I gonna do? So, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna need to figure something out. All right. I'm home. God. What's going on, guys? Teen mechanic here. Wow. You know, I I I, I did a lot before one o'clock today. Um, I. <laughs> My dad didn't know any of this, and uh, sorry about the lawnmower. I uh, decided to go buy a Toyota Camry, have it blow a motor on the side of the highway, and then tow it home, all at my own expense and on my own time. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna be absolutely thrilled when I tell him, Dad, I bought a $1,500 Camry with a blown motor. It's just gonna be awesome. So anyway, this is my new project, and when I say project, I mean, flip car because I found it for such a good deal and uh, it needed a head gasket and apparently a head um, and it does have that weird uh, weird tickety noise um, now <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I'll just tell you what happened I had a friend of mine driving the t-bird behind me and uh, I just happened to notice the temperature gauge was sitting right around here and I was like oh crap you know I hope it doesn't overheat and uh, then I saw it jump from here to the next tick, and then all the way up to the red immediately. Uh, and that's when I uh, came to a stop, and then uh, when I, as soon as I got on the off-ramp, it was pegged. So, that is what happened. Uh, and I knew right then and there I wasn't going to make it home, so I pulled over and I let it idle. It was actually still running at that point. I let it idle to see if it would cool down. Usually, idling can help mitigate overheating and help it kind of bring the temperature a little bit further down. No, I shut it off, and that's when I saw the gauge starting to creep down very slowly. And I was like, this is a 50-50 shot. So sure enough, after about a minute, two minutes, I go to crank it, and it doesn't start. So it's not locked up, which is what I thought it would be. It's not locked up. Um, it's just cranking, although then the battery died. So I'm going to go get some booster cables, and we're going to see if we can get this thing to go. All right, she's got tons of power to her now. Let's, uh see what happens when we go to start it oh it ran it runs check it out she's running huh okay interesting very very interesting I bet you I bet you part of the reason that it overheated is because she's got no coolant in it. No coolant whatsoever. Look at that. No coolant. Is there any in here? Yeah, there's tons in here. With oil in it, believe it or not. Huh, okay. And in here. Oh yeah. Oh, that, yeah, oh yeah. That's uh, that's a blown head gasket, all right. So, honestly, guys, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to look at, instead of rebuilding this whole motor, what I would rather do is buy a whole new motor from Pick and Pull and just throw it in. Like, how hard is that? Like, this, is, this would be an absolute cakewalk. Like, this would take me an hour or two to just throw a motor in it. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to leave the trans in there and everything, and I'm just going to, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, because this head does tick, and it's been overheated, and it has coolant in the oil. So, coolant's not a very good lubricant, 
the head needs to be replaced anyway. I'd rather spend 200 bucks on a junkyard motor than 200 bucks fixing this engine. So that's what I'm gonna try and do, I think. And there you have it. So, <laughs> okay, um, this has been an endeavor. Um, I was planning on doing perhaps a video that was, you know, can we flip a car in less than 10 minutes sort of thing, you know, I have, a, have the video be less than 10 minutes. Um, although now that this uh, video is being made, I think this is just gonna be the introduction of this car. Uh, although I would like to keep the, the video series pretty small on this guy. I think, um, I think I'll probably end up doing uh, another video on it, putting in an engine or rebuilding it. I think putting in the engine is the way to go. Uh, although, depends on whether I can find one now that I think about it at pick and pull. I mean, I don't know. It depends because anything that's wrecked, engine's gone just like that. Um, and I, there's, hasn't been any Toyota Camrys in the junkyard uh, as of late, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know, it's it's tough, but uh, I'll figure it out, and if I have to rebuild the motor, I will. Um, but yeah, so anyway, um, stay tuned if you want to see it. I'm gonna. This is going to be probably one more video on this car, maybe. Um, and, well, I know there will be at least another video on it, I just don't know if it'll be one video, or two videos, or three videos. I'm thinking, wow, that's ridiculous hair. I'm thinking just one. But anyway, uh, let me know what you do want to see. I'm curious to hear your thoughts, uh, and I'll... See you guys very soon in the next video. Bye-bye.